Well, come June, Australia will make its fifth appearance at a FIFA World Cup. And our nation's best will be counting on the passionate support of thousands of Socceroos fans travelling to Russia. In tonight's special feature, we look at how the Socceroos' first World Cup 44 years ago has inspired some to make that journey. In 1974, the Socceroos stepped onto the world stage for the first time. Untested, but not overawed. Strength of Socceroos is a power. It's an incredible unknown element of, of inner feeling of the people. Facing the world's best changed the way Australians thought of the world game. The spirit of the nation was with us. And other sports, strangely enough, which were so distant, became so close. They played well for Australia today, and Australia is proud of them. Attila Abonyi, Manfred Schaefer, Branko Buljevic, Johnny Warren. The 74 team was a reflection of multicultural Australia, and it helped a young Maltese migrant named Jim Zammett feel a bit more Aussie. It was very significant for a young, new Australian, as we were called in those days, to, to see you know, their football team actually there. Now, many years later, Jim and his wife Sylvia are preparing for the trip of a lifetime. They'll step away from their Sydney bookstore to watch the Socceroos play at the World Cup in Russia. When we're marching to the stadium with a whole lot of like-minded people. It's just, it's like the proudest moment yes. of your life. Anyone who's worn the hallowed green and gold knows how important the 12th man can be away from home when there's no one there. You need as much support as possible when you're, when you're playing and uh, we didn't have as much as what they've got now. And grouped with France, Denmark and Peru, the Socceroos have quite a task ahead under new coach Bert van Marwijk. Give credit to Marwijk, he's uh, very experienced, he has a lot of courage. And the thing is when you're an underdog, you know, no one's expecting you to win. If we can catch France out early, we, um, and they're notoriously slow starters. If we can get a draw out of that one, all we need is a win. And that four points might get us through. True belief this squad can tap into the pride that makes the Socceroos perhaps Australia's most unique national team. Darren Mara, SBS World News. Yes, beautiful history there from those old enough to remember. But finally in sport today, uh, it marks 100 days until the year's FIFA World Cup, this year's FIFA World Cup. And from tonight, we count down to the globe's biggest single sporting event with some of the tournament's most memorable moments. Let's go back to 1986. In the aftermath of the Falklands War, four years prior, England took on Argentina in the quarterfinals. And what transpired was confirmation that both uh, Diego Maradona's flaws and genius. And while many remember his Hand of God incident, his second effort was described as the goal of the century. Maradona would play his fourth and final World Cup in 1994, but arguably would never again scale the same heights as he did that day at the Azteca Stadium in Mexico City. And don't forget, a reminder, you can catch the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia live. It's free. It's in HD on SBS when play gets underway in June. Yeah, great player Maradona, but just back to the Socceroos, Janice, I can remember sitting in front of a black and white television as a 14-year-old with my father watching the Socceroos create a little bit of history way back in 1974. Great memories. Uh, great memories, and they're about to happen all over again. Bring it on. You Thanks, Tomo.